Hi, so I'm glad you found this video. Today I'm going to try to explain and clarify a few things about making playlists in Spotify. Uh, whether you're the kind of person who makes huge, gigantic playlists with thousands of songs, such as I do, and can it be kind of tough for you to organize this. So, and also whether you just want to, I don't know, make a mixtape and put everything in order, you know, so it is exactly like you like, song by song, because doing this, um, through the cell phone it is impossible because you have to do song by song and if you like to listen to multiple albums you have to add many songs at a time and if the playlist gets too big it can get really hard for you to transfer one song from one place to another so knowing these things are gonna save you a ton of time and I talk about this by experience because I've already spent lots and lots of time doing this for me I organize every song very carefully in my in this playlist of mine there's 7,000 songs so I spent a lot of time like just trying to put the songs the way I liked, so um, I, dude, I'm not gonna lie, I spent like a whole week just to organize a few things, so I hope that all of this experience of mine help helps you um, by any chance, so uh, let's go, let's, let's, let's do it, right, so first things I, I think you should know, the uh, shortcuts, right, so if you press control question mark, or this slash right here, you get, um, Spotify will display you all these shortcuts, right? So that's why I do the playlist on the desktop version. These are gonna save you a lot of time. And if you pay attention, you can clearly see that these are the same uh, shortcuts as the ones used in Internet, I'm sorry, in Windows Explorer. So if you're familiarized with them, this shouldn't be really a real problem. Another thing is, um, that's very important. If you click on the album cover, it's gonna lead right from where that song came from. So, and if you click on the title, right, it's going to lead to the album, exclusively to the album. If it isn't clear, I'm going to explain. So, for example, this song is on a playlist of mine, a playlist that has some of my favorite songs, right? So, if I click here, instead of guiding me to the album, it's going to guide me to my playlist, right? And if this play, as this song was in a playlist with my friend, I was listening to this playlist with my friend, for example, click it here, right? Uh, I don't know, list with my friend. I click, click here and I started listening to this song. And I clicked here and the album covers, it will lead me to the playlist of my friend, right? So it's important to do this because it's going to help you save a lot of time traveling through the album. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and try to clarify uh, how to organize lots of songs at a time, right? How to choose many songs at a time and for example, instead of, I don't know, picking a song and bringing it and dragging it all the way, I don't know, to song 2000, which would take a whole lot of lifetime, for example, to do this, this is unbelievable. There were other updates that it wasn't that fast, right? It used to be way slower, uh, which, ah, it was awful, it took me so much time. But if you use these shortcuts, it, can, it will save you a ton of time. So let's say, right, um, I want to go to this part of my playlist. I search. You see, Control F uh, searches it like this, just like in Google, for instance. So I want this song, right? Because I don't remember where this song is. For example, like I have seven thousand songs. So where is this? Like so, um, by searching it and selecting the song to play. I'm gonna click the album cover. Remember, I told you this that it it brings me to where the song is, not the album. If I click here, it's gonna be bring me right to the album it came from, right? But if I click on the album cover, it's gonna lead me right to where it is on my playlist, right? It worked as the first time, but once you keep doing this a lot of times, it might not work and it might crash. So what if it crashes? You click on the album cover, it won't lead and it won't lead you to the song you're expecting to where it is. You just have to go to the main menu to the start, and then you're gonna have to do it again, and then it should work, right? It may take some time, you see? It takes a few seconds for process. Um, it depends on the size of place and all, but if it doesn't work, you just go back to the main menu and press it again, so, right? I'm here in this part of my playlist. So let's say um, I have this song right here, right? They're in song 2000, uh, but I wanna move them right down there. Instead of doing each, each um, dragging each song by, um, instead of dragging the whole thing, or I don't know if I want to make a selection. For example, I want these songs in this, right? I want to change these songs in this. I can bring all of them at once. And what did I do here? Is I selected one song, right? And I press Control. If I want to select like two songs, all right? I press it. I maintain. I keep pressing the Control button and keep selecting the songs as many as I would like. But if I want all the songs in between and and want to save time, I press Control on the first song, right? You can just press the first song. 
and then I press Control Shift and then click up to the song I want, right? So I click on this one, right? I click first on this one and Control Shift, clicked this song and everything in between was selected. Now uh, for you to continue, you just do the same thing as Google, for example, you copy with Control C, right? And then you remove your playlist because you don't want repeated songs uh, or maybe you want to, but it doesn't matter. So and now I go to another place on the playlist, which I don't remember. So I'm just going to search Control F and I don't know, let's go here, right? Uh, so let's go here. Now um, I'm going to click on the album cover so you can leave me right where it was. And then I'm going to click on, on this song right here because all of the songs I selected, when I paste, you're going to show up below it, right? So Control V, paste it, and there you go. All the songs that you selected were here. And by doing this, you can save tons and tons of time. And this is how I organize my playlist methodically. Um, because if you want things organized, you want to do a mixtape, and this is going to help you a lot. And it makes the whole process of doing playlists a lot more enjoyable. I clicked on the album cover here. It led me right up to the play to the top of the place, right? But it didn't work. I want to go right to this song, right? So I'm pressing it right now, and it's not leading me to this song. So what I do is go to the main menu, click on it, wait a little bit, and it will lead me right where it was. But anyways, and if you press Ctrl Z, it undoes anything you've done. If you press Ctrl Y, it um, undoes what you have undone. For example, I can remove this song from my playlist, right? And if I press Ctrl Z, you're gonna be right back, right? So it undoes anything you've done. So um, I hope it did not take too much time. I just want to make things very clear uh, because this can be very useful. And I hope to do uh, another video on other cool things that Spotify has. For example, these folders that can help you a ton with getting organized with your stuff. And if you have any questions about anything on Spotify, feel free to ask me. Uh, and I'll be more than happy to help you. So take care and keep making playlists.